Dude, my hunt is actually such a weird keybind. Fuck. That's gonna feel terrible. You know what I'm saying? Can I clarify? What do you mean? The road crest is the tech with sky splitter and mine razor second. Yeah, you need to be put in prison immediately. Why well, controller? Because I felt like it, it just sounded fun. I had nothing else to do, so I was like, eh, maybe I'll play on some co controller today. So I can see if it's improved at all. Especially since they're coming out with the controller V2 soon enough. I imagine it's in the game before console. Or with the patch that comes with console. So like, I'll try it out. So I can respect the difference, you know? Who are trying to smite? Yeah, I can. The bind that it shows is not the correct bind. That's not the bind I have it set to. The binds that it shows are the default key binds. I have mine changed via Steam. Because they don't let you change your settings in game. You should have come for me since I like the boys. Bro, what do you mean? That's my wife. Put some respect on her fucking name. YouTuber for guides slash advanced guys. Uh, there's not really a lot of like guides because they're kind of hard to make because you can't uh, just go into like a custom match and like 1v1 somebody. So there's not really a lot of guides. But as far as gameplay, uh, you can like look for people that have like good gameplay. Uh, either myself, Pinzo, Crashy, Joey or Shirley. Those are probably the biggest ones. There's some other people too that also do stuff. But uh, None of them really have, like, none of us really have guides because it's kind of hard, like, you can't really make it unless it's in a live game. Which is obviously pretty difficult. Just didn't know the scene. Yeah, you could try, uh, like, those four people. See if, uh, any of those suit your fancy. Let's believe you're googling for guides. I mean, maybe some other people have guides, but those are like the big, like, uh, pred cr content creators at the moment. Oh, what's up, Ricky? Smoked. I don't have the damage to kill him, unfortunately. Who's the most controller friendly hero I've played? Uh, probably Chimera, honestly. I think melee doesn't actually feel that bad because melee has like almost no aim assist on it. Bro, that really stopped my back. Uh, melee has a lot less aim assist on it than, uh, than controller. Six, I don't think six uh, does YouTube content. At least not for Pred. If he does, I could be wrong on that. Mugiwawa, also highly recommend. He does, he's more like Twitch stuff, but I think he does some stuff on YouTube. He does a lot of like uh, analytical stuff. So if you're looking to like learn about the game and like what's good, what's not, I would highly recommend Mugiwawa. One word. There's a lot of YouTube guides. I mean, it's like just gameplay. It's just commentary of gameplay. It's not the same as like an actual guide. It's helpful, but it's not like the, it's not the same. One word, how many W's? Uh, Wawa. Fuck, I keep clicking the wrong button trying to smite. It's up on the D-pad, up on the D-pad. Come on. Oh, solo. I'm here to body block for you. Damn, I tried. I got his flash at least. Yeah, melee on controller uh, does not feel that bad. It's not like great, but it doesn't feel nearly as bad as playing a ranged character.
You can also check out Survivor TV, although he's only a streamer. Same thing with Crazy Fool, also really good players. But they're uh, streamers, they don't do any YouTube content. Sleeping on you? Who's sleeping on you? Because we're coming around <laughs> to remake suck. I mean, that's just because he cares about the game. He wants the game to be better. But that doesn't discredit the fact that he won the last tournament and was should have got the MVP in my opinion. And is hands down the best support in the game, uncontested in my opinion. so bad he didn't who got the mvp proficiency the solo laner who played well don't get me wrong he played really well too but i think crazy should have got mvp crazy single-handedly allowed proficiency to get fang mao two games more than he should have violence yeah that's proficiency that's who that is like again he played well but i think crazy single-handedly set the tone with the first game playing richter and then single-handedly set the tone in the fourth game with richter as well Prophet not carry. Crazy and like he played really well and he played really good. But Crazy and uh, Survivor, uh, in my opinion, just destroyed the duel lane like it wasn't even close. Prophet did the same thing in solo, but I think uh, Crazy had a larger impact in terms of like the mid game. Just because solo lane is like you just play solo lane, right? I think Proficiency played really well. I think he definitely, like, I'm not upset that he got it, but I think Crazy deserved it more. Just by a little bit. Especially since he uh, was against us, uh, the best duo lane in all of Pred. Nobody could beat Vecron Pablo. They're so good. According to literally everybody in the Twitch chat and the fucking casters and shit. What, Involve? Involve did what he had to do. He didn't do anything like crazy. He had some good plays, but uh, his job was just to keep Seismic in mid and stop him from rotating, and that's exactly what he did. He just did his, he, he did his job. Which Crazy said was their game plan, so you know he did what their game plan was. That's all you can ask of him. That's crazy to say a single nice thing about Pred to be MVP. <laughs> crazy likes Pred. He actually thinks Pred is really good. He just doesn't like some of the things that they do. He actually really likes Pred. He really wants. He really likes Pred. And he really wants Pred to do well, but he just really disagrees with some of the things that they do. Oh, I got full passive still? I'm actually cooking. I lost full passive. Cringe. I don't have red, actually. I don't know if I can stick to this guy. I need to get my passive up. I need to get to 15. Alright, we got we got enough to get the extra movement speed. Fuck, I can't actually kill him, dude. Now I'm dead. Alright, we'll just trade it. That's the best I can do. Oh, we got out of the tower range. Help me! Richter! Richter, save me! Oh my god, it's so easy, bro. <laughs> Spit on him. We're out. Like crazy, honestly. I mean, crazy's like crashy, right? Like, he just, he speaks his mind. And usually when you're playing a game, you're not like, man, this is so good. You're like, what do I dislike about the game? And then you voice your concerns. Because you want the game to improve. And like, yeah, you can be like, this is really good, and you like it, but... At the end of the day, that doesn't, like, saying stuff is good doesn't necessarily make the game better. Whereas you can say the things that are, like, you dislike, and then those things can get improved. Then the game feels better overall. I can't believe I got away with that. I'm not even gonna lie. Nitro Greystone. That's just Greystone. Nitro played really well, too. 
He had the, he had the, he made the uh, the call in the second game as well to get the prime where they like snuck prime. That was a really good call by Nitro. I think everybody on Professor's played really well to be honest. I just think Crazy set the tone in that first game. I think he set the tone and set the momentum. And I think as soon as you played that, as soon as that first game happened, and Crazy set the tone like that, I could just tell the game was they were gonna win. Don't tell him I said that though. Crazy's around. Tell him he's a fucking shitter or something. Can't have Crazy thinking he's good. We gotta hold him down. His ego's gonna get too large. Keeps telling me talk talk nice about him. Third game. Third game they lost. If I'm not mistaken. Was it or was it they lost the second game? They won the third game because they're prime. I forget. The game where they snuck prime, where Nitro was playing Sephiroth, he made that call. It was a good call. It was the third? Yeah. Then that, that's what it was then. It was third game. My bad. I misremember. Second game they won. Close enough, right? <laughs> Dude, my fingers hurt, man. I'm not used to a controller these days, man. I shouldn't have smited blue because I can't do Fangtooth now. Cringe. Third was a good prompt call. Then that was the that was the nitro call. But everyone where it was like they just had no idea. There's Nitro's tiny little brain. Making a play. Coach is right side, so this should be free. Even without smite. What's up, loser? I'll be taking the five camp. And you're gonna watch me do it. So I'm gonna do it right in your face. Bro! Where are the boys, man? Where's my Murdoch snipe? I actually should've killed the crunch there. Dude, why was there mid there, too? Like, what the fuck is that? Where's my team? I can't believe the crunch got away with that shit, dude. No cap. Four of them there. Yeah, cringe, bro. Where's my team? Freezing wave? Typical. That's right. I got the five camp. That's a mental victory. Didn't want my bounty to get too large, you know? Gotta keep it competitive. I did get like a fat set here, though, though. I got like 60 stacks on it. I'll take it. I had a late cleanse. I didn't think about cleansing, so I was like, oh, I'm stunned, and then I cleansed late. If I had cleansed earlier, I wouldn't have got silenced out of my jump, and I would have killed the crunch. Hello, Ricky. Oh, Ricky, two time.
Should be free. Meant to do that. That was intentional. Cap up. Richter on Richter crime is on the rise, you see. Hey, you know what I mean? Sometimes you play a little hooky and you gotta, you know, you gotta take the bait. Controller gameplay, I'm literally cooking, man. What do you mean? I actually go stone wall. Grab a little stone wall. They have a good comp to go stone wall into with the crunch fang. Good in the revenant as well. So I'm flicking torture. I used to play professionally on console on smite. I just want to play on controller because they're doing the new controller v2 or whatever soon. I imagine it's before console. I could be wrong on that. If not at the same time as console. I don't want to have a gauge on the uh, if the controller has improved since the game is released, and it seems pretty similar to what it was on release, which uh, is not fantastic, but it's at least playable somewhat. Uh, we'll see how it improves though with the next controller update, like V2 update. Hopefully it does improve. Get over here, loser. Go back to base. Oh, Ricky! Ricky boy! Go back to base as well. Apparently, it's similar to Savage and Smite. Uh, how does you think it feel great? I mean, I'm using the default Smite layout, which is the Smite layout I used to use. Or at least as close to it as you can get. But there's just like some things like missing. For example, like... You can't use, at least like via the Steam input anyways, hopefully in their new layout, uh, it'll be better. But in the current layout, you can't use two buttons to press like a keybind, for example. So like in Smite, on Savage Controls, you can use both bumpers to ult, right? In this game, you can't set both bumpers to do that. Like you can't set it to do that on both bumpers, but then still have the bumpers individually do something separate. Which, in my opinion, feels really bad. But hopefully again in their in their like v2 setup they uh they fix that and address it We're just cooking on the on the chimera right now. They just can't contain me. No red buff. Brian seventy there. Brian twenty seven. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So a control scheme option or a really good controller player. It's a control scheme option in Smite. Basically, the, the control scheme is set up so that your abilities are on, like, your bumpers and triggers, as opposed to your buttons. That's, like, the main difference. And then your actives are on, like, A, B, X, Y. So, a Revit controller player? Could just be a low-sense PC player. I mean, I'm on controller, so he should be cooking too, right? No console uh, players to be competitive needs to be a big revamp. I mean, I'm able to play on controller. You know what I mean? Like, Sesh would be in my game normally, like the Fang Mao. Like, it's not like these are, like, that different. I mean, they're definitely lower quality than my normal games, but it's not, like, that much different, to be honest. So, like, uh, to be honest, controller is playable, but it does not feel good to play on compared to what it could feel like. I just think the main competition on con on uh, controller is Smite because they're the only MOBA on console, and I think Smite's controller setup is 10 times better than this game's controller setup. I think it's going to be hard to convert those players. With the current setup. I think they should improve it to uh, compete. Obviously. But we'll see. 
Clog grip isn't bad. I play on clog grip. Clog grip and defaults my controls. So it's just not fully customizable. You can't edit any keybinds in, in game. Like I have different keybinds, but I have them set through Steam input, not through the game input. That's why my keybinds are different. So like what it shows you on the bottom is not my actual keybinds. Can really be that that difficult? I think so. At least like on PC, maybe not, but to have like separate layouts. I'm pretty sure on controller, you just need actually straight up separate layouts. I don't think you can set it to uh, change your controls separately. Although I know on Xbox, I don't know if PS4 is like this, but I know on Xbox, they have a setup similar to... Uh, similar to steam input where you can edit your controller separately so i know you could do that on xbox i don't know if you can do that on pc but it's similar to like steam input where you can only set keybinds like one like individually you can't set uh multi-key keybinds i don't know if ps4 is like that though i don't play i've never played on ps4 so i'd imagine they have something similar if xbox has it that's like outside of the game though You can't customize, really? That's surprising to me. Considering you can plug a keyboard in. Let's go some more FizzD, because they're a uh, very Fizz heavy comp outside of the howitzer. Biggest like, uh, gripe is the lack of turn acceleration on 180s. I just think the turning in general is really low. Like, the sensitivity in this game, I was saying earlier, is like... If you were to play against a Medusa in Smite, which is... She like looks at you, It does. it's like a cone ability. If you're looking at her, you get stunned. If you don't look away, it's just... If you look... Like, if you're able to turn around fast enough, it's just a slow and it does half damage. If you were to play on the maximum sensitivity in this game, I don't think you would be able to turn that ultimate in this game. But like, in Smite... Uh, this the minimum sensitivity is like a third of their max sensitivity that you would need to turn. I think they should really adapt like a, a higher uh, scale for their sensitivity. Because it is really low at the current moment. That was like the one of the first bits of feedback that I gave them the last time I played on controller. Plenty of since day one. Yeah, I also dislike that you can't change X and Y. The fact that they're like the same sensitivity, I dislike a lot. That's that's like one of the other things I gave, like one of the first feedbacks, was that you should be able to change X and Y separately. Because generally, your X will want to be higher than your Y, because you don't really look up as much as you look left to right. Is this my last game. Yeah, this is my last one today. Although I, I think I convinced Crashy to get a controller, so I might be playing some. I might do a queue with Crashy tomorrow, and I'm gonna try to get Crashy to play on a controller. Cause I think it'll be kind of funny. So I might be playing some more controller tomorrow. We'll see. Or I might start like normal and then switch the controller after. On PS, you can switch buttons around, but apply to every game. Yeah, it's the same thing on Xbox. It applies to every game. That's what I was talking about. I assume PS, I, I assume PlayStation had a similar thing. Usually, it's for like uh, people that use like an adaptive controller for like a disability. Yeah, I feel like it would be weird if they didn't have that feature. We'll grab a third fang here. Enemy. If there's a, in the setting, it's usually in like the 
the like actual PlayStation settings, not like uh, game settings or anything like that. Because it's PlayStation, like it's like like you said, it applies to every game. No, oh, get off my man's. Get off my man's crunch. Ah, oh, my frames! Got Chimera framed for a second. I don't think I can take this because the Howard's there. Unfortunate. As input field the controller. I'm not a fan of controller in this game, but I'm probably like I'm. I'm also probably super biased because I played controller on Smite for fucking like five years. So I'm probably biased as fuck. But I, I don't like how it feels. I I don't think it's like the worst thing, but I don't think it competes with Smite's controller setup or most controller games, to be honest. But they they're supposed to be having like a version two of the controller, so I think uh, it will be fixed. I hope it's fixed when they add that into the game. But I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. Main things are sensitivity, I think. Sensitivity and uh, better control layout and like ability to customize. I think those are the big things. Pred should follow the same. Uh, they should 100% follow the same. There's no different. The only difference in keybinds or like uh, in input in terms of skill disparity is at like the like not just the one percent, but like the point one percent. Like in Smite, for example, Smite has 50,000 players. You have the 50 top players in SPL, and then right below that, you have the minor league. They have multiple controller players in the minor league or people that have played at that level. Uh, so like I'm talking like top like 75 players in the game. Have played on controller so like to say that people can't play on a controller at a high level is just disingenuous and it's just not accurate to be honest it is widely it is a wild like myth that player that controller players can't play at a high level now the game currently i think limits controller players more than input does 100 percent you can buy them as long as the ps5 version Smite uh, cause 60 frame cap. I'm pretty sure on the new series of Smite, it's uh, 120. I could be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure uh, like the Series X and the PlayStation 5, it's 120. And like, can that have an impact? Sure. Probably a larger impact than input ever will. It's, it's still playable. The other important thing is that uh, if you play on like a controller on PC in Smite, it would separate you into the like console queue. So you would still have 120 frames, but other people wouldn't. And obviously, uh, since they're combined now, that doesn't exist. Which was worse for aim characters with no aim assist? I just disagree. They have aim assist, and the aim assist feels terrible. Aim assist should be removed from the game, in my opinion. <laughs> 